Hi everyone. We are back for cooking club this week and we are going to make a little bit of a different recipe. Um, this one is really easy. It's, it's great if you need kind of like a breakfast um, casserole, could also be considered a dessert, um, but it's just two ingredients. It is a can of apple pie filling and a package of cinnamon rolls. So really all we're going to need is something to cut the cinnamon rolls on. You will need a knife and then we'll need a prepared baking dish, a nine by 13. Um, this one I've just sprayed with a nonstick spray. You can also do parchment if you'd like, but the oven needs to be preheated to 300 degrees. It's less than what we usually do, but we're gonna bake for a little bit more time. Um, and we don't want the apple pie filling to, because it's got um, sugar in it and that tends to caramelize and can burn uh, if we do it at too high of a temperature or for too long. So we're going to stick with 300 for 30 to 35 minutes. Maybe we'll need more. We'll just roll with it and see what happens. So we're gonna find the seam here on our cinnamon rolls. There we go. If it doesn't pop immediately, just give it a squeeze. So what I'm going to do is take all of these out and we're gonna set aside the pouch of icing. We will use that in the end, but we're not going to use it at first. It's okay if they come unraveled. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of separate and if they did come unraveled, no big deal. We're just going to roll them back up. And we're gonna cut them into four to six pieces. Um, I like to do smaller pieces just because um, you get more spread out throughout your baking dish than if you make them bigger, but it's totally fine if you wanna do smaller. No big deal at all. very curious to experiment with other flavors. I haven't tried this with anything but apple, but <clears throat> another thing you could do is maybe do fresh apples, bake them a little bit, and then add them in after. All right, so we've got our cinnamon rolls separated. We're not gonna take our knife. I'm gonna go here, right in the middle. And then I'm gonna do kind of an X shape, almost. And then another X over here. So not only does that split, let's see if I can get closer, that split the cinnamon roll into um, the six triangles, but then we can pull them apart like this so we get lots of little doughy cinnamon roll bits. So as we continue on, I'm glue you down a little bit more. Um, we were just take these, spread apart, and we're gonna sprinkle them across our dish and you can leave them bundled up if you want bigger chunks, but you can also just kind of separate them and scatter them about. So down the middle, make an X. Once I get these cut, I will show you what it looks like over here. Another way of doing this is um, you could add these into a bowl and mix everything up first rather than pouring the apple mix on top and then giving it a mix uh, with your spoon. Right, so I just got two of them there. One thing that I've been thinking about is maybe muffins. If you put this into a muffin liner, that would be pretty good and it'd make them kind of a smaller portion. Okay, a couple left.
as the dough starts to get softer, uh, you will notice they'll kind of squish down a little bit more. That's perfectly fine. Not a big deal because we're going to bake it and they're going to poof right back up anyway. All right, so I'm going to rinse my hands really quick and then I will bring the camera over to show you what my dish looks like. in here um, this is just all of my cinnamon roll pieces that have been separated chopped into bits and then we're gonna open our can of apple pie filling next <clears throat> can opener out the only other thing you're gonna want is a spatula or even a spoon come out maybe not so these pieces that I'm using are quite large if you wanted them to be smaller you could take the mixture out and use a knife to make them a little bit smaller I'm just gonna kind of give it a mix and it is a very like sticky substance the apple um, with the sugar the apple pie filling so you don't have to do a lot because the apples are quite large and we've sprayed our dish make sure when you have sprayed the dish um, when we do this you you always want to spray it closer to the top so that it has room to rise because when we're baking things um, typically they're going to rise hopefully if we've done it correctly Right. So there is what it looks like before and then we're going to pop it in for 30 minutes and we'll check it then and see kind of um, what it's looking like. We, went, uh, we might need more time depending on our ovens. We seem to run into that every week. I always end up adding a little bit of more time um, you'll notice but I don't want anything to burn. I'd rather have to put it in for more than have it burn and then we can't do anything with it. So I will see you back here in about 30 minutes. Okay, so I ended up needing 40 minutes to make sure that everything um, was nice and done. So here's what we have. You can tell that my cinnamon rolls are nice and crispy. Uh, when I poke them, it's not super doughy. So last step, <clears throat> I already opened this. You just wanna make a little cut to do the icing. And all we're gonna do is drizzle this across the entire pan here. And you wanna do it when it's warm because then it'll get nice and melty into it. Kind of how, um, just like when you make regular cinnamon rolls. And if you make a smaller cut, you'll get, um, You'll be able to drizzle more of it. It won't be as thick of a line. So there is our finished product for this week. We've got um, lots of apples in there that are nice and warm and are crispy 
cinnamon rolls that have cooked all the way through. Um, so please let me know what you think of this recipe. Let me know if you try any other variations. Um, I really hope you enjoy it and we'll see you back next time. Bye everyone.